Thanks to eight years of Obama manufacturing his little race war in America, race relations in our country are at an all-time low. Now we have white people being victimized and demonized simply for being white, as liberals continue to demand that whitey makes reparations for slavery, continually telling them to check their privilege, regardless of if their ancestors owned slaves or not. If that wasn't enough insanity to last a lifetime, now liberals are trying to make segregation mainstream, as evidenced by numerous activities that whites are being excluded from all across the country. Harvard University is one of the colleges caving to political correctness recently, as they announced last week that they'd be holding a separate graduation ceremony for their black students, while hilariously asserting that the move had nothing to do with segregation. But barring Whitey from attending an event at Harvard still wasn't quite enough racism for these idiots however, as now another university is upping the ante of ridiculousness in a move that will make you absolutely livid. Black students at the American University in Washington, D.C. are not only demanding an extension on their final exams because they are black and deserve it, but are also demanding a sanctuary for people of color at the local cafe on campus, where they are demanding that white people be banned from eating there. While you can imagine the outrage by liberals if a group of whites suddenly demanded an extension on their final exams and demanded blacks be banned from eating at the campus cafe, quite the opposite reaction took place after these black students made their little demands, they got it. Conservative Tribune reported, the demonstrators blocked traffic in the tunnel of Bender Arena on the campus with three demands that included a sanctuary space for people of color in the Bridge Cafe, extensions for students of color on their final exams and a team of non-biased expert contractors to investigate racism and discrimination complaints brought against the university. Scott Bass, who serves as senior faculty member at the university, met with the entitled group of black students, where he decided to comply completely with their demands going on to cite the university's commitment to being a multicultural campus, obviously minus Whitey. There's nothing more important, in terms of my administration, than being a multicultural campus, he said. Bass went on to say that the university wants to work to establish anti-racism after signing a contract with author and historian Ibram X. Kendi. He went on to reference the hate crime that occurred on the campus on May 1 that involved bananas, yes bananas. Blacks on campus became outraged after finding random bananas around campus that were strung up in the trees, asserting it was a hate crime. So now because of the hate crime involving bananas on campus, now all white students will be punished, and banned from allowed into sanctuary areas that have been erected across campus for the black students. Leave it to liberals to flush decades worth of civil rights progress down the toilet, bringing back segregation all because a few freaking snowflakes had their feelings hurt. These morons are doing nothing to prepare these black students for the real world, as you cannot simply erect safe spaces whenever someone feels like they're being treated unfairly. If bananas truly hurt your feelings, I hate to break it to you, but you are not going to be able to even cope once you get out in the real world. Martin Luther King must be rolling over in his grave right now as his lifetime of work has been completely dismantled by the fascist snowflake liberals of today. He had a dream where everyone would be treated equally based on the content of their character not the color of their skin. But leave it to liberals to bring back segregation and try to make it mainstream, demonizing anyone who doesn't jump on board with their insanity. Here's more from the original story via The Eagle. Student demonstrators blocked traffic in the tunnel of Bender Arena on Friday to demand that the university take specific actions to support people of color after the May 1 hate crime that targeted Taylor Dumpson and O's chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, Inc. The demonstrators demanded three key actions from all administrators, according to a flyer distributed at the protest. Provost Scott Bass arrived at the scene of the protest about 90 minutes after it began. He accepted the three demands and said he would meet with student leaders on Monday. The exchange between Bass and protesters came just hours after the university announced it had deployed all police officers to protect Dumpson, the student government president, after a white supremacist group encouraged its followers to troll her online. Demonstrators marched from Katz and Arts Center to Bender Tunnel protesters said they would occupy all space and not leave until all demands were met. Freshman Hahanite read the list of demands after leading a call and response with the crowd gathered in the tunnel, chanting We Can't Breathe, the reference to the death of Eric Garner at the hands of police. These are the things that we have demanded from the university because of the oppression and discrimination and the hate we have faced, not just in these current events, but every day on this campus, Knight said. 
students gathered at Katzen Arts Center at 2 p.m. and started marching to the Bender Tunnel around 2.30 p.m. Once the demonstrators arrived, students split up into two groups, one of which sat down in a line to block the road in front of the UPS store. The other group stood in front of the entrance to the Bender Arena parking garage. Public safety cars arrived within an hour to block off the road. Some students held posters that read this is a peaceful protest and allies protect black and brown bodies, especially black women. Other protesters wore tape on their mouths bearing the hashtag hashtag it's in the air, the reference to the racism they feel is prevalent on campus. Nooses are enough. And we need to be tired, sophomore and black student alliance president Matt Sargent said at the demonstration. We need to be tired and we need to know that we are valued and that we value ourselves enough to stand up for this. Students chanted, this tunnel is closed, and call Kerwin. Several demonstrators expressed anger at the university's response to acts of racism on campus. Do I not pay? Do I not pay for tuition, Junior Ramayat Sharayanet said to the crowd. Do I come here and try as best as possible to ignore these racist ass white people? to ignore the microaggressions every single day. Provost Scott Bass arrives at scene of protest over 90 minutes after the demonstration began. Bass arrived and addressed the students gathered in the tunnel. At first, Bass was unaware of the students' demands, but said he had come from a meeting with other administrators where they had been planning a number of responses to previous student requests. There are a number of things that we can do in the administration, both in terms of the curriculum, in terms of the faculty, in terms of the kinds of centers that exist on campus, Bass said. Bass announced that the university had signed a contract with Ibram X. Kendi, an author and historian at the University of Florida, to establish an anti-racism center at O. Kendi is the author of the New York Times best-selling book, Stamped from the Beginning, The Definitive History of Racist Ideas in America. There's nothing more important, in terms of my administration, than being a multicultural campus, Bass told the crowd. Following his remarks, Bass was given a list of the demonstrators' demands and returned to address the crowd minutes later. He agreed to establish the Bridge Cafe as a sanctuary space for students of color, to give students support in asking for extensions on their final exams and to allow other groups, such as the NAACP, to investigate the hate crime and other racist acts at O. We are interested in getting to the bottom of the issue, and the sooner we can do that, the better. Bass said. But I will also say that that doesn't stop our commitment to do more. This is just a minimum, this is not just one incident. It's a deeper issue in our community. Bass said he looked forward to meeting with black student leaders on Monday to discuss more student concerns about racism at O. As a student organizer announced that Bass had met their demands, students began to move away from the entrance of the Bender parking garage, allowing cars to leave for the first time in over an hour. The demonstrators' celebrations echoed off the walls of the tunnel as they chanted, We are O. We are O. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.